Hey, y'all. I just passed by um, a fairly large pawn shop in Oceanside on Mission Avenue, or actually um, Pacific Coast Avenue. And I just wondered, have any of y'all ever had to pawn anything? Now, I think I touched on that one time. Now, you know I would go to a dead end. Anyway, um, when my sixth husband and I split up, and I had moved from Washington back here to Oceanside, I was only working a part-time job. And Sam's... Um, child support was the same that it had been for 13 years. I had never asked for an increase, which I could have because his father was military. And um, so, you know, our income was pretty small. And it got to the point where it was necessary for me to pawn a few things. And um, <clears throat> I've never been a big jewelry person. Um, I never bought myself any expensive jewelry. I did have one really nice pair of silver hoops that I bought. And I think I paid about $65 for them. And I had them for years until one of them got flushed. But anyway, um, so, I took a few pieces to a pawn shop, and I love those pieces. One of them was my sapphire engagement ring. It was a beautiful sapphire with some diamonds. Now, when you go to a pawn shop, you don't get diddly squat. And what they depend on is they give you a pretty small amount of money. And if I remember correctly, I think you have about 60 days to go and get your items out of the pawn shop. And if you don't, then what happens is they keep them and they sell them for a lot more money. Well, unfortunately, I was not able to go back and get my jewelry pieces. When I drove by that pawn shop, it reminded me of that not so good experience and time of my life. Pawn shops, while they have interesting things in them, they're sad to me, y'all. It's like an estate sale, almost. It's sad because people don't take things that they care about to a pawn shop just because they want to. They do it because they have to. And to me, that's heartbreaking. Even though my husband and I were separated and would eventually get a divorce, I still loved him. And I loved my engagement ring. And I loved the way he gave it to me in a card on my car seat. It represented the love that we had had for each other all those years ago. And it made me sad. It broke my heart to have to part with it. Now, I still do have a beautiful little pink ring that he bought me one year for, um, I believe it was our anniversary. I still do have that one. But... I just think that pawn shops are kind of sad. 
And I hope none of y'all, oh my gosh, that looks like a life light helicopter. You know, I heard those sirens earlier. Yep. Yep. He's coming into land, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That means somebody is really hurt if they have to be life lighted to a hospital. Dear Lord, please help them. Please help them. So, that's it, y'all. I just thought I would share that with you, just what was going through my mind, and see, have y'all ever had to do that before? And if you had had to do it, were you able to go back and get your pieces? I hope that you did. Um... Men, I guess they pawn, they pawn um, tools and um, stereo equipment. <laughs> I think that's what they take to the pawn shops. Oh, and I've seen lots of golf clubs, things like that. Now, there's a fire truck at that motel over there. Marty's Valley Inn, and here comes another ambulance. It seems like, y'all, that there are a couple of different things going on here, but they may be picking somebody up. That ambulance, though, does not have its sirens on, just its lights. So, if an ambulance just has lights and no siren... Does that mean that it's not critical? They pulled in there too to the motel. Now I will say, and I'm happy to say this, that a lot of times when an ambulance and a fire truck respond to a call, it's not serious. It's not really uh, life threatening. Um, they used to come fairly often to a senior apartment community that I managed, but a lot of times the paramedics would get there and they would run the vitals, ask the important questions, and take the information off their refrigerator that listed all their medications and their allergies and determine that really um, it did not warrant a trip to the hospital. Sometimes, you know, people just panic. And it's always a good thing to call just in case. There could be something serious going on. But I've seen many times when ambulances go to nursing homes and they go to senior apartment communities. And even when you see them on the street sometimes, they will check people out and leave without a person. And that's a good thing, y'all. Well, I'm getting close to the police department, which is down here by the... Um, well, one of the libraries, it's actually a, what do you, a branch. Yeah, it's a smaller branch. The large, beautiful Oceanside Library is off of Pacific Coast Highway, in with the Civic Center and a lot of other city business things. It's gorgeous. But anyway, y'all, love ya. Do something fun today, and I'll talk to you later. Oh, it's starting to sprinkle. Yay. Talk to you later. Bye now.